<laughs> just see you set up a chest. <laughs> Shorty's making herself at home. <laughs> I'm sure you remember when we were little, right? There was this iconic bop. Yep. <laughs> Say shaba shaba. <laughs> I, no. I, I decided to make a Minecraft server for my old high school. Wasn't really sure how it was going to turn out, to be honest with you, but the beef is already beginning. <laughs> Shocker. All I know is, it's about to go down. So as we begin, we are the first people in the server. <laughs> and I decided, you know what? We need to go all in. We need to get all this wood. We need to get all the cobblestone. Just really stacking up on resources because Doodle decided to start the beef. And one thing about Doodle, <laughs> that man is unhinged. And I didn't want anything to do with it. So I was like, okay, if I'm going to protect myself and my other friends, I need to be prepared to take Doodle down. I was scared of my life running, y'all, let me tell you. I'm not one of them PvP bitches. But then I saw a village, and I was like, I need to go to there. So there I am, running, dodging them arrows like a bad bitch, and I'm like, okay, game plan. We need to go to this village, and we need to ransack that shit. And yeah, I know what you're probably thinking. Bitch, you're acting like Doodle. Well, guess what? To beat Doodle, <laughs> you need to become Doodle, bitch. So that's exactly what I set out to do. And so there I am, sneaking up on these bitches. They don't even know what's about to happen. They don't know that they're about to get their stuff stolen. To be honest, I didn't get much from this village except for food and some basic necessities. But you know what? It's better than nothing. Better than nothing. Here I am looting some more chests. We got some emeralds, which I was really excited about because that means we can begin trading relations with the villagers. And y'all already know me. I had to steal those books <laughs> and the lectern. And I don't really even know what I can use that for. But like I said, if you keep it out in front of me, I'm going to steal that shit. Fear set in as I realized the doodle could literally join at any moment. So I went ahead and got some stone tools. This is when I kicked my ass into gear, y'all. I was not happy, all right? And we go back up to the surface, and the search continues. We need to build a fortress. That dude cannot conquer y'all. And because of the danger, I had to leave my baby daddy behind. <laughs> it's okay, I'll find another one. I always do. But before I left, y'all already know what the fuck I had to do. I had to steal their food supply. I mean, shit. Yeah, they're gonna go hungry, but better them than me. That's what I always say. I had a feeling that some of my besties were going to be joining soon, so I started taking the surface iron and coal a lot more seriously. Because let me tell you, <laughs> big ass caves, not for me, alright? I do not like it, but I had to do what I had to do. I have to provide for my baby girls, okay? For the gays, days, and the gals. I had to do what I had to do, so I went deeper and deeper into this little crevice of the earth, and I got a bunch of shit. And I did this over and over again because I need to make sure that I can provide. So here I am. Get some coal. And I believe I go down deeper. I don't really remember to be honest. This was a really epic find. But I cannot bring myself to explore it. <laughs> I did take the cords though for a later time. But yeah, I was not about to risk my life. Okay, I still need to secure the bag for the baby girls. I'm the only one on mine. I'm the only one who has this head start on Doodle. In his crazy ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Doodle's gonna watch this and be like, bitch, you talking so much shit. Yes, I am. And that shit's true. At this point, you guys, I am dead set on trying to find a biome far enough away from spawn. <laughs> and I'm killing all of the animals because I want to make sure that Doodle, when he gets online, cannot find any. Alright, I need the food supply to be scarce. And then there I am questioning, should I go down there? I end up doing it. Same old thing, damn it. I'm mining. I'm getting my coal. I'm getting my iron. I'm ignoring the copper because I don't know what the fuck I can do with that still. I'm just making sure I can provide, okay, for the baby girls. That's all I need for. I'm a sugar mama. 
Still on the search for a forever home, I come across this. I thought this was going to be a little hobbit hole that we could have a base in, but the more that I explore it, I see that it's not really a hobbit hole at all and just the underneath side of a mountain. So we had to quickly pass on that, but it did have some great um, surface ores that you all already know I had to get for my shelf, okay? So I lit that up so that we have no monster spawning because as y'all know, monsters in the new updates are literally the bane of my existence. But I did see something really, really cool. So apparently now there's like random nether portals that spawn in the overworld and that's probably like, you know, old news for everybody else. But like I said, like I'm still getting back into this game and I haven't played the new updates. So I see that there's a chest and look, we got some gold in there, all right? A bitch is getting rich. So it's right after that previous mountain with the little nether portal that I actually find another village. And really, really exciting news. This is where I decide to settle down, y'all. And you're gonna see it's absolutely gorgeous. Maybe I'm just over hyping it up because my friends who joined later on were not that um, impressed. But me personally, I think that I picked a really cool biome to build in. I wanted to push myself with this SMP because I feel like I always play it safe, whether that be materials or biomes. And I really just wanted to explore the new world of Minecraft. So, as you guys can probably see, <laughs> I decided to build in the ice biome. I'm not sure what drew me to this place specifically, but I feel like we're going to be able to make a lot of awesome progress and changes to this biome. I don't want to do too much terraforming because I want to capture the natural scenery of Minecraft. And again, like this is really just pushing myself to my limits. If you guys have been watching other videos on my channel, you know that I have never built in a biome like this. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. When deciding what I wanted to build our base out of, I knew that I had to use spruce wood. I just love how it looks, especially with these light textures of the ice. However, besides that, I didn't know where I was going with this at all. <laughs> As you guys can see, I'm jumping around the screen totally confused. But I think what I've settled on is like some type of log cabin, but like mystical, whimsical, which is going to be kind of hard to do in vanilla Minecraft. But I think it's something that we can accomplish. I made the base pretty large just because I don't want to have tons of floors like I usually do so I was like I'm gonna have to compensate for that. I can just hear the comments about this right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Look it attacked me out of nowhere. I was just building my house and it decided to just come up and bite me so I did what I had to do and I killed it. And I know, it's just so mean. <laughs> I wish I knew more about polar bears, like maybe I could have tamed it or something. I don't know if I can actually do that, but yeah, it's sad. Like, they were so beautiful, but I had to kill it, okay? It didn't want neighbors, and I was not moving, so I killed that son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, I kind of killed its child, and like, I know that's controversial, because like, the kid can't bite me, but... It was gonna grow up on my island and like maybe it would have came after me i had to do what i do to preserve the girls now to distract you guys with something cool so you forget that i killed the polar bear family this was an amethyst geode i thought this was so sick if you guys don't know i sell crystals in real life so the fact that minecraft added calcite and amethyst is just so sick i am so excited to hopefully open up a shop at spawn where i can sell these cool new finds because it was kind of random finding it like it just spawned in the cave and i was like oh okay slay and let me just say these are just absolutely beautiful like they got the little colors right <laughs>
Hope that you guys enjoyed the music in that last clip because I absolutely did. <laughs> I have a whole mining playlist where I just have a whole bunch of Daisy songs. That one's not a Daisy song, but uh, it's still just really good. And I like it. I don't know what she's saying, but it just sounds really, really good. <laughs> so anyways, back to the game. Here I am just trying to figure out like... How do I want the outside to look? Because like I said, I wanted it to look mystical, kind of grand. And I decided, okay, even though we only have basic materials right now, let's try and play with them and see what we can do. Because we have a very boxy shaped house, but if we add detail, we can kind of add dimension and get rid of that boxy shape. So that's what I attempted to do. Highlight the word attempt. <laughs> I am not. A good builder but I tried my very best. The more I just allowed myself to really just go with the flow with this project the more I started to really like it especially the strip spruce logs. Make sure that you guys comment below your opinion on this because I'm kind of debating should I have some stay as spruce wood as you can see right now or should I turn all of these spruce logs into strip spruce logs? Please let me know because I really like the contrast with this um, the, this one right here, the strip logs give, but I don't know, I feel like too much of that might look quite plain. So I'm still debating on it, not really sure which way I want to go about it yet, but the base is coming together. As you guys can see in this video, I added the platform, um, continued with our little outline that we had, and I'm moving some of the stuff up top because <laughs> I can't even open that chest, but yeah. I'm actually kind of liking it. Still very boxy, but we're working on it. But then some crazy shit happened. Someone from high school actually joined the server. And let me tell you, I wasn't expecting it. You know, I had played for two hours by myself thinking, okay, Doodle wants beef. Doodle's going to get some beef. I did not think other people were actually going to join. Sure, I sent out a mass invite, but... Who would actually join something like this? Nemo Girl did. Nemo Girl and I actually go way back. We've known each other since third grade. And here we are meeting again in a different realm, in a different world on Minecraft. I haven't played since like three years ago. And then besides that, I've just been doing like, you know, mini games and stuff. But I don't know. I kind of like how it is now, but like the monsters get on my nerves oh yeah like they're so op now it's like you need full okay. iron like off the bat oh <laughs> <laughs> i was jumping from tree to tree it didn't work i knew since she was the first person to join the server that i needed her on my team so I ventured back to spawn, won her over with giving her some food so she wouldn't starve to death, and I brought her back to the base. Well, I guess we could head on over to my house. I remember coming through here, I was like, wow, this is really cute, but I need to get away from spawn because I'm not gonna let Doodle ruin my house. I have nice shipwrecks too. I decided we're not gonna raid this village because we can use their resources and like make it an actual town. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're like, oh. <laughs> I'll take the horses. That's fair. Oh, I ran out of food. You went, you built something in the ice biome. I love it. <laughs> You're lucky you don't die from hypothermia in this Honestly, mod. Honestly, that's iconic. I also have polar bears. Oh, I know. I killed some earlier. <laughs> <laughs> she just came at me and I was like, damn, you can have some of the food that's cooking. After she settled in, I told her the truth about Doodle. And we both agreed that we needed to get a base fortified and ready for an attack right away. <laughs> I just see you set up a chest. <laughs> Shorty's making herself at home. <laughs> well, I need something to put in <laughs> Oh my god, you know what I wish they added in vanilla Minecraft so bad? Backpacks. Swimming anywhere, watch out for those middle, like, molten areas. They will pull you down and kill you. Yeah, that's really right. weird. Yeah. Like, why are they... Like, is that even a thing in the real ocean? 
Well, there's a gas bubble, but they don't really pull you down. It was then that Nemo Girl summoned me back home into the ice biome. She told me that she found something that could help us with the ongoing war. Not only do we have resources closer to home like a spruce forest, but we also have a secret weapon, a guardian temple. We swim deeper and deeper into the ocean, scheming and plotting to make sure that we're ready for Doodle's return.